Speaker, I, I now uh, yield three minutes to a uh, very uh, distinguished member of our committee, uh, the gentleman from Virginia, Mr. Connolly. The gentleman from Virginia is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank my friend. I also congratulate the ranking member, Mr. Engel, and the chairman, Mr. Royce, for their bipartisan leadership on this critical, critical resolution. Mr. Speaker, apparently once a KGB agent, always a KGB agent. Mr. Putin seems to have learned nothing from history other than that there is power at the end of the barrel of a gun. To cite Russian, the fact that there are Russian speakers in Crimea as a rationale for one of the most audacious power grabs of the 21st century and no less, forgets history. Let us not forget that Crimea was settled by Stalin when he expelled and executed the native Tatas. And this recent so-called referendum in Crimea was also done at the end of the barrel of a gun. Russian interests were never threatened in the Crimea after the revolution in Kiev. The new government in Kiev never abrogated, abrogated the treaty that allowed Russia privileges, naval privileges, through 2042. The Ukrainians didn't occupy military stations in Crimea and around the region. It was the other way around. For the United States and its allies to allow this naked aggression to go unaddressed would be truly an abrogation of our moral responsibility and would be to turn our backs on the very lessons we should have learned from 20th century tragic history. Mr. Speaker, we need to stop talking about the he better not go further argument. I'm stuck at Crimea and I hope my colleagues are too. It is wrong, it cannot be allowed to stand and we must make him pay a price. And the difference between now and Stalin's time is that his economy is integrated into the global economy. The ruble will fall. The stock market in Russia will pay a price. Investment will suffer because we will help make it so unless he relents. Until they pay a price that's so great, systematic and comprehensive, that he will understand that we no longer operate by the rule of the jungle in Europe or indeed anywhere else on this planet. Not with our blessing, not with our apology. So I strongly support the legislation before us and urge my colleagues to join with all of us in telling Mr. Putin we will not stand idly by with history doomed to repeat itself. I yield back to the gentleman from New York.